I'm John H. This is Fitness Edge Media. I'm joined by Jess Shireman. You are at CrossFit Fruition. I am. And you have competed today in the Catalyst Games here at Nazareth College. It's a beautiful day. It is beautiful. Although it's a little, little warm. A little warm, yeah. Yeah, I mean, ideally, what would you like it about? 65 degrees, 60 degrees? Anything less 50 than degrees? This. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a little warm out there. So um, talk about your, per, you know, what you've done so far. You just got off the air assault bike, yeah. which is heat number four, right? Um, wad five. number four. Yeah. Wad number four. Yeah. Um, yeah, the heats are the, in the wads. Yeah. But um, how'd you finish in the first three? Where were you in the position? Uh, I believe I was 21st. Okay, so after that's the pretty first good. three, yeah, when the cuts came and they took the top 30. And would you consider the air assault bike your uh, strength or was that kind of a struggle? Um, I think it's a strength of mine. I have good cardio. Um, it was difficult, yeah. but um, got through it. And we should tell Fitness Edge media followers that Jess and I, I, we were in the same room. I want to say we did the Memorial Day Murph together, but together. what you were doing no. and what I was doing was two different things. I no. was just kind of struggling to survive. You were crushing it. I wasn't crushing, I was struggling to survive. What was, your, what was your time? My time was um, in the 70s, okay. but this year I wore the weight vest. You did wear the weight yeah. vest. You, you made me look like a little bitch. No, I don't think you I did. did. No, yeah, I don't think so. I made myself look like that? No. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? No. No, you did really good. How long did it take you to recover from that? Um, like a week. It, it's a killer, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, even though I, I'm going to stand by my assertion that you crushed it, you did struggle. I mean. I did. For sure. It was hot in that gym. Yeah. It was a hot day. Yeah. We ran out in the sunshine. Yeah. That last mile just sucked all the energy yeah. out of you. I think I was crawling by the end of the day. What was harder, that or today? Um, it's different. It's all relative. I mean, in my in my mind, I knew I wanted to do Murph with the weight vest, and that was a goal of mine. Um, today's a little bit different. The competition atmosphere gets you through a little bit more than just a regular body gym. Yeah. You know. Give a shout out to, uh, you know, I'm telling you to give a shout out, but talk a little bit about Dan and Angela, what they've got going on over there at the box. They're, they're very motivational. They are. They're very, uh, you know, intensely involved with their community and coaching with that aspect. You know, what do they mean to you as a CrossFit athlete? Um, I think I say box less than I say family. Um, Dan and Ange are there for everything. I can go to them for personal stuff. I can go to them for all my gym needs, for my CrossFit needs. Um, without them, I wouldn't be able to get through today. They're instrumental in everything from um, minor injuries to huge goals that I have for CrossFit. I mean, they're really um, pivotal in my training. Yeah. And, um, the new the new gym is amazing. Um, yeah, it's a great space. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so Great murals on the wall. Yeah. Barbell Grace is right there. Yeah, definitely. Which makes it feel even What's more What's it like, like working out with a dog? It's great because you get like a post wad shower after she comes over, <laughs> she likes your legs, you get a little cuddle, and then you're all good. There you go. Yeah. Well, um, I, I think you hit the nail on the head. They've got a great community and it is a family over there. Yeah. I see that on social media. They do a great job of conveying that. Um, you're doing a great job here today. What, what is the fifth and final wad here? It's um, toes to bar, um, one arm dumbbell snatches pull-ups and one-arm kettlebell swings what and wrap in 10 minutes. Okay. What is your goal? I mean, are you thinking top 10 or top 5? What are you shooting for here? Um, shooting for top 10. Rig work is always a struggle for me. So stuff like toes to bar pull-ups I'm going to struggle a little bit with, but I'm going to try to stay out of my head. Yes, and also. Stay out of your head. Yeah. And I like to think that Fitness Edge has contributed a little bit because we are under the shade of the tent, yes. right? Yeah. So I'm letting you recover a little bit. Yeah. So I'm trying to give you a little boost yeah. up there to the, the, the finish line. Well, I'm going to root for you to finish top 5, and we'll, we'll settle for top 10. But you, you are an up-and-comer. Regionals next year? Maybe. Let's keep working, Keep watching. Right? Yeah. I, I am watching. I'm a big fan. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you by. so much. Good luck. Thank you. Bye.